Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me and Anna. Hello. Anna and me. And uh, <laughs> we're going to uh, go ahead and pull up some of your YouTube comments and answer them like we do um, on Sundays. So uh, before we get started, do you got anything you want to say? And I ain't put you on the spot this time. You knew I was going to ask. <laughs> so do you got anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> All right, you could have talked long enough. I could have had a swallow of my tea. Say something. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Should we restart? <laughs> no, no, we're going with it. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to pull this up. Let's see. Uh, YouTube comments. Let's go ahead and pull this up here. Let's see. All right, let's start with this first one. I'm going to let you read it because you're young and your eyes are better than mine. <laughs> so David Dibble. That's a funny last name. David. Now, why are you going to start off the video by insulting this man? I'm not insulting him. I think that's name. a funny name. I like it. Okay. What are you talking I, about? I, what do you like? That's a funny name. Like, nowadays, you got to define what you mean by funny. It oh. could be funny, ha ha. It could be funny, you, you know. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, it says, so is it okay to cohab if they're the same size? And they commented this under a bearded dragon video. So, assuming they mean, bearded is it dragons. okay to cohab two dragons? Um, yeah, I mean, if they, if they're the same size, um, we, we have tried to, uh, make it clear that, you know, you don't want to raise, or you don't want to cohabitate two males together, but if they were raised together from babies, sometimes that will be fine. Like, um, you had a friend, I can't remember what her name was in Jacksonville, remember? She gave us two male bearded yes, dragons and yes. they were perfectly fine. They were two adults. They were raised together. Um, but if you introduce two males that were have never seen each other before, they will fight. Um, but females, most of the time, if you raise them together, if you introduce them together, females will be fine. Yeah, we've, we've never really had a problem keeping two females together. No. It, sometimes even if they weren't raised together, we could we could house them together. Uh, you know, in fact, there's some breeders that house their bearded dragons together in groups. They'll have like a male with two or three females. Now, I want to add something to what you were you were saying here. Um, she said that there there was one occasion where this young lady you're talking about raised two male dragons together, and they were completely okay with one another. They didn't fight. They didn't do anything. And um, but there was no female around them. And that's not terribly uncommon in even some other animals, like mice, for example. Mice yeah. are notorious. Uh, if you put two males together, two male mice will fight. However, if you separate all males and put them in an enclosure together, um, they, they typically don't fight. They get along fine. Yeah, unless you put a female in there. And so y'all the problem. Start, <laughs> that's when they start fighting. So See, dragons can be that, the same. People can be the same. That's right. Y'all the problem. <laughs> when you anytime you put a female into the equation, everything just goes to hell in a handbasket, right? Hey, it's just like in creation. <laughs> God created all the world, and He said it's good. God created the animals. And he rested, and he said, it's good. Hey, but you know what, though? Wait, wait. I'm going somewhere with this now. God <laughs> created man, and God rested. Then God created woman, and man and God, neither one ain't got no rest ever since. Hey, but the, first, the one time he said it wasn't good was when he saw man alone. He saw man alone? Yeah, so there had to be a woman. Well, see, so if, we, so we got to keep y'all under control. Sometimes. See, if, if he just created a number of men, there wouldn't be no fight. It'd be just like a bunch of mice. Yeah, but y'all probably get yourselves <laughs> killed a lot easier. <laughs> oh Lord, I could just go ahead. This and, is another discussion. I could for go ahead and get all the feminists mad. And I could just say, you know, like somebody got to do the cooking. <laughs> I just... mean, I'm not going to disagree with you there, but <laughs> oh Lord. All right. Anyway, so David, there's your answer. Yeah. Um, yeah. If they're the same size, now listen. If you if you put an adult bearded dragon and a baby bearded dragon together, oh yeah, no, that's not a good idea. That baby bearded dragon gonna end up getting eight. Yes. He, he I mean, would... no jokes about that. That will happen if yeah. if a dragon can. When I was younger, I remember whenever I bought my first first bearded dragon. Uh, the guy that I got it from, I specifically remember this. He was like, "No, if you ever get another one, just know that if if the other dragon's head can fit into the other dragon's mouth, he'll go for it. <laughs> He's gonna get eight. <laughs> he'll so. go for it. So, so yeah, keep them the same size. Uh, females, you know, just watch them. 
Just watch them. Yeah. You, you'll know in just a couple of minutes whether or not it's going to work or not. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't nothing you got. If you ever want to test it, too, you can put a dragon, like, in a clear tub or two dragons in a clear tub and just watch how they react to each other. Yeah. You know? Yeah, good point. That good way point. you can, that you know, you don't risk losing one of your dragons. But for yeah. the most part, anyway. Uh, Who's the next one? Beth, Beth Clemens. Beth Clemens. Said, how can you tell if your bearded dragon is happy? <laughs> He'll be watching our channel, Beth. <laughs> no, um, how do you tell if it's happy? Well, first of all, let's let's define something. Let's define. Ha- I mean, d- do we want to attribute human emotions to to an animal? I mean, I don't necessarily know if if bearded dragons even can. Uh, wh- what's the word I'm looking for? Like, can they be happy? Well, I mean, I don't think you know. I obviously know that my dragon is never going to. Tell me, hey, I'm happy. Thanks for taking care of me. You know, but, but some people's bearded dragons do. I've talked to some of these people, <laughs> and they swear their bearded dragons talk to them. Well, I, so, hey, good for them. But <laughs> I'm just they saying. wouldn't be commenting that. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, like, even though, I mean, if your dragon's never going to tell you whether they're happy or not, but I think that, you know, even as humans, generally, if we are healthy if we feel good it makes us happy we want to so i eat. think that the best way to make a dragon healthy is just to or to make a dragon happy is to make it healthy yeah. so by giving it a good environment you know giving it attention giving it a varied diet making sure that it's not underweight or overweight just making sure that the dragon is healthy and it's getting what it needs i think in the end you'll have a happy she said dragon. About how can you tell if it's happy i mean is it gonna smile I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it go? I mean, I think it'll eat. It, you know, all living creatures, if they have, if they're comfortable, they want to eat. Like, well, me, when I'm happy, I want to eat. Yeah. So, I mean, it, who doesn't? So. Yeah, if it's feeding well, <laughs> it's probably happy. Yeah. If it's going on a hunger strike, that's probably a sign that your dragon has depression. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, Beth, thank you for your comment, hon. Uh, who's this next one? This is. Austin. You pinned this one. It says someone got to be offended. Which video was it? This was on community stereotypes. Yes, reptile community stereotypes. This comment from Austin is at De La Rosa. He said, somebody got to be offended. So he's he's talking about this video we did. This reptile. I'm assuming he means like someone watching the video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Somebody had to watch this and get offended. I mean, probably people get offended over everything nowadays. I, I, I was just yeah, I was gonna say that Austin. Can anybody in in the United States watch anything anymore without being offended? Yeah. I, I, I think mean, people nowadays are trained to look for the offensive things in videos. So you know, we're trying not to make anybody mad on purpose with our channel but sometimes you just can't help it but but we don't try to avoid it either if if we just totally (laughs) honest i mean we do what we do um we do the comedy skits that we do we've had some people get mad with us oh yeah but i mean we're trying to give you guys some laughs and also kind of shed the light of some of the funny stereotypes that genuinely happen in the reptile community yeah so i mean get offended get offended but it's true i mean listen in the and very, some people, in the very beginning of this video though i i made a statement i said you know there was a guy told me one time he said you know life all by itself is going to deliver you up hospitals funeral homes nursing homes things that that make us sad every opportunity you get to laugh and enjoy life you are to seize that opportunity you want to enjoy it but but in our generation, it has become uh, in vogue to get offended. People will watch an entire video to find ten second clip that offends them, and that's what they want to leave a comment about. Yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, you always told me when I was little, laughter is good for the soul. It's great for okay? the soul. Being offended or trying to find the offensive things, I mean, it's not good for the soul. It leaves you feeling angry depressed whatever so we're yeah. we just want to give you guys some laughs and we hope that you you know learn it's, to it's enjoy the videos it's not good for your stress level either no if if you're offended you're angry your stress level i mean you know what you just it, it, it's not healthy all the way around um we used to be a society of people who could laugh and who could joke and now i mean even comedians can't tell jokes because people go see a comedian, he tells a joke, and they get offended because he told a joke. It's like, why are you going to see a comedian for anyway? 
Sure. You know, so, so yeah, I'm surprised. But this video we did, we were poking fun at the reptile community. And we did several skits in this video featuring, and they were all based on true stuff. Yeah. And it, we still try to make sure our fa our channel is, like, family friendly. So you and your whole family can get some laughs by watching it, too. And, and, and all I mean, this, again, it was based on true stuff. Like, like the reptile mom. We took that, uh, used to, you remember the Repticon Atlanta um, we would do Repticon Atlanta, and there was, in our video, we have a, one of the characters is called Reptile Mom, I believe it was. And it was based on that lady. She used to come to Repticon yeah. pushing a baby stroller. With a giant iguana on And it. a boa. She had an iguana. She had, yeah, she had both. Yeah. yeah, she had an iguana in the bottom and a boa on top. You know, some people would get offended by that. Probably. Because you got a boa too close to a lizard. We had somebody leave us a comment on YouTube. She was all upset because of one of our videos. We had a bearded dragon and a ball python, and they were kind of close to one another. And this lady wrote me a some kind of whiny little comment, you know. And uh, huh. anyway. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> but, but yeah. So so we did a lot of those stereotypes. We did the reptile hoarder um, featuring Phil Billy. That, that was actually... That was a true skit. That actually happened, um, but it was me, uh, and it was one of my roommates that I actually went to his house one day, opened the toaster oven, and there was a rattlesnake in, in this toaster oven. Listen, I've been around reptiles my whole life. I would move out if I, like, yeah, I, I think you also said, didn't y'all lose a rattlesnake in your old house? Long time ago? I, that did happen to yeah, me one time. I'd move out. Before I was married, before I met your mom... I was oh, yeah. a bachelor. I was living alone. I actually had a rattlesnake got out of an enclosure in my house. And, you know, everybody was like, well, what'd you do? I said, I, well, I looked for him was the first I thing I did. And then night. I went to bed. I mean, I couldn't find him. So I figured, you know. Um, oh, yeah, I know. I mean, we don't have rattlesnakes in our house now. But if we let one loose, I'd be like, Nana, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm going to spend the night. Okay. No, see, we were talking about how women come into the life and create fights, but women also come into our lives and and create common sense. Yeah, sometimes keep y'all from living, you know. <laughs> so short I got lives. married. I married her mom, and so she put a stop to me keeping rattlesnakes in my living room. So uh, anyway, but yeah, a lot of those characters and the skits that are in those videos true. are based off of real stories or real people. And so, yeah, we just enjoy making them so that the whole family can sit down. Y'all can have some laughs. Laughter is good for the soul. Make some memories. I mean, it reminds me whenever I was little, me and you used to, like, watch, you know, well, of course, we still do, like, Sanford and Son, you know, oh, things yeah. like that. Oh. Just good old shows with some good comedy. Oh, man. Yeah. Stuff stuff that I'm surprised don't get canceled today Oh yeah, um, was, was good comedy. But let's go to this next comment. We got, who is this? Classic Gamer 1968. 1968. Hey, I like this dude's name. Now. Classic Gamer. Classic Gamer. You know what that means? That means 1968. That means this dude was born not too long before me. And he probably knows all the good classic games. Back when video games was fun before... You know, the goal was to murder everybody. <laughs> we had like Pac Man, Donkey Kong, Centipede. I was about to say, Pac Man is like the only video game. I don't play video games, and so the only one that I really know about is Mario Kart and Pac Man. So. See, back then, video games was fun, though, man. You went, it was like on Stranger Things. You rode your bicycle to the arcade that was pitch black dark inside, except but the lights from the games. And you took one dollar to the arcade. You put that dollar into the little token machine. You got five tokens, which meant you could play five video games. Five. You go to the it's arcade like now <laughs> with a dollar. You go get to play one game for about thirty seconds, right? Maybe one game. I don't know. I haven't been to the arcade in years. But uh, this is a classic said, gamer. I like I like your name, man. But what what does he say? It says great channel and info info on bearded dragons. Seems like very good people to new subscriber. Cool, man. Well, we appreciate it. <laughs> cool. Hey, we're glad to have somebody else that's old school on this channel other than me. <laughs> I'm probably the most old school of my generation, though. So, hey, welcome. We're all old school. <laughs> oh, um, man. Thank you for the comment there, Classic Gamer. Don't know what your real name is, but I do like your screen name. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, this next one is... Ash uh, Ashley Coffee. Man, y'all all got cool names today. Ashley Coffee? Ashley Coffee. Hey. Or maybe that's how she calls it. <laughs> she said, um, how do you know if it a female or male? So how do we know if it's a male or a female? And this is on another oh, bearded dragon video. 
They finna get me in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't we make a video? Ashley! I'm pretty sure I made a video about this. We do. We do. Okay, let me, let me give you the politically correct answer first. <laughs> um, we did a video called... I don't remember what it's called. It, it's basically... It's it probably a, just is like how to sex your bearded dragon. Yeah, how to tell a like male that. from a female. We did a whole video on that. Now I'm going to give you the politically incorrect answer. It's the same way you determine whether it's a male or a female in any other living species on this earth. You got to check the junk in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> and if they ain't, you know, certain parts there, then it's going to be a female. And if they are some certain parts there... It's going to be a male. Now, I've been breeding reptiles for 30 years, and I have never produced one of them other genders. No. I never have. <laughs> I mean, everything I've ever produced has always been either a male, male or, a or female. Them other 42 or 52 or 62 or how many daggum genders they claiming is out there now, I have never bred. I ain't never had nothing pop out of the egg that said, hey, I ain't neither. <laughs> male nor female. That's the New York or the California species. But no, just to like kind of help you out a little bit though, we, you know, you've probably seen on our channel, it is really hard to sex a baby bearded dragon. You're really not going to be 100% sure until they're at least six months old um, before it becomes really noticeable because the tail is extremely tiny when, when they're hatchlings. Um, and then as they get older, sometimes the males will, like whenever their beards start turning black, they start bobbing their heads up and down at like their reflection or whatever, then that's kind of a telltale sign of a, of a male. But... Yeah, we have a video on this, so if you want to go, you know, check it out into more detail. I want to say I made the video, like, maybe a year or two. I really can't remember, but I know we have one, so y'all can go and uh, check that out. And our next comment... Um, well, thank you. Thank you, Ashley, for that comment. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, we appreciate We appreciate you being... I think this young lady is a subscriber. I've seen some other uh, comments and things she's made, so thank you again, Ashley. Now, what's this next one? Is it Portia? Portia. Portia <laughs> Everybody, Baker. you're right. Everybody's got Everybody's cool, got cool names. names today. Portia Baker. I wonder, is that her birth name or is that a nickname? Portia. I don't know, but I, I kind of like it, so. I mean, that just ain't like a real It's not common a very name. common name, though. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. She said, can I feed my bearded dragon roaches? Well, it depends on the roach. Yeah, you can't, you <laughs> yes. know. If yeah. you have Astro spraying around your house and you find one crawling inside your house, probably not. No, no, but. you don't want to be feeding none of them roaches that come in and out of the house. Now, I'm not saying you got roaches, Portia. I'm just saying, you know, like, um, you don't want to feed wild roaches. Let's say that because somebody yeah. would be like, you guys are seeing way that she had roaches in her house. That ain't what we were saying. Don't feed any wild roach uh, because, number one, they could have insecticide on them. Number two, they could carry some kind of... Some kind of something, something bad. You don't want to be, you know, spreading that along. Um, far as roaches go, I think we talked about this last week in a video. Yeah. Um, you can feed one of our favorite roaches is dubia roaches. Some people like to use uh, the uh, what are they <clears> called? The like the, the lobster roaches. Yeah, and then there's also the Madagascar hissing cockroaches, which I'm not a big fan of. But um, one day he brought like an aquarium full in the shop and I was like, what are those? Because I mean, I've been working with reptiles ever since I can remember, but I'm not a bug person. I deal with them as much as I have to for the dragons, but these bugs are, these roaches are huge and they climb up glass. So that's the only annoying thing about keeping them is- See, that's because you, you was to... raised privileged. Oh, please. <laughs> you were. You were raised pretty. See, I was growing up poor. We got used to roaches. We had roaches so big, kids used to catch them and make sandwiches out of them. Ew. <laughs> no, I'm no. I can. Uh, I mean, I I can kill roaches in my in my room. My sister, on the other hand, <laughs> I had to learn to do that because my sister wouldn't do it. You know, one time she was. I was sick. I was literally like in bed with a fever, and she saw a spider in our bathroom and made me get up and kill it for her. She that's, was not. That's sick. how your mama treats me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so the hissing cockroaches, you know, if that's your thing, then go for it. Dragons can eat them. Just make sure they're the appropriate size. Um, I think even sometimes the adult uh, hissing cockroaches can be a little bit too big for adult dragons, depending on, yeah. you know, the size. But my favorite, yeah, are the uh, the dubias because they don't get, like, huge and they don't climb up glass or plastic or anything. So Unless you live keep. in Florida. In Florida, you can't have dubia roaches. They have That's a different true. species there they breed. I can't remember what they are. But down in Florida, I, I found this out one day. Um, 
Well, I ain't gonna tell you how I found it out, but um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're, 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 Doobie and Roaches, you can't have them in Florida, so uh, you have to breed whatever you can. But yeah, roaches do make good feeder insects. Just don't feed those roaches a very high protein diet. Um, too much protein in the diet of those roaches uh, can be problematic to both the roach and to your bearded dragon. So keep your protein level low. And uh, if you want to feed them something, feed them our insect buffet. It's it's perfect for them. We uh, actually had that product made for uh, breeding insects. So yeah, do that and, and you'll certainly be okay. Just don't be feeding them none of those roaches from the wild and uh, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, and we have a bearded dragon nutrition video, so we've covered other insects that they can eat as well so that, you know, your dragon's getting a varied diet. But, yeah, I think, is that all you saved? That's it. That's all that we've saved. So uh, we're done. <clears throat> Man, that went fast. Yeah. That was pretty quick. Let me, uh, let me. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of YouTube here. And, uh, hey, I want to thank you guys uh that uh have been watching this channel for quite some time thank you guys who have subscribed who've there left us comments <laughs> and uh we we pull your comments up on the screen here so that we're not so, yeah, actually so if you're wondering why we're sitting here looking like this because it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny little writing and when you get to be my age it, it gets harder and harder to see it from a distance so uh anyway do i see anything last thing you want to say uh, well, we hope you enjoyed, and if you want your comment to be featured in a future video, comment something down below. Something interesting. Yeah. And, or something controversial. We're going to get to them eventually. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. Subscribers are going to be getting slower and slower. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great weekend, all right? Peace out. See you all later.